Today I have the Star Shower Motion laser light, which is to light up the front of your house, or you can use it indoors, it says. And it came with the stand for in the house and a stake for the yard. It came in the styrofoam packing. But I bought a whole bunch of these off the discount shelf. This one didn't come with a charger, so instead of returning it because of its cheap price, I'm going to see what's inside it. So here's the back of it. I removed all the plugs that keep the water out of the screw holes. Now these screws were odd, different. They were triangle shaped and I didn't have a screwdriver for that. I tried using different kinds of screwdrivers to try to fit them in there. Nothing worked so at the end I just decided to drill out all the holes. And this thing is actually really heavy duty plastic. So I drilled out all the holes. Here I open it up. You can see I drilled it out. Here's the wires going up to the power supply. Up here is the freezing light. Here's the lasers in, the, in these aluminum housings. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these circuit boards. I snipped these wires and I left them long in case I want to do anything with this. There's a small motor inside it. And you see the circuit board, you can unplug everything in there, which may end up being very convenient. I'm going to unplug everything from the circuit board. All's unplugged. So, the circuit board isn't even destroyed. It looks like that button I didn't even have to clip. Also, the power supply I also did not have to clip. But here's what's inside it. I could probably snip this small zip tie. I'm going to remove the motor. Okay, you remove this, you see it, the motor, it uses a small, I guess you could call this a little drive shaft, it goes down, and you see it connects down there to that lower part, and turns that, yeah, you could call that a little drive shaft, and Actually, it looks like this part actually comes out. Oh yes, it does come out. You see this screw? There's a few of them around there and it makes this inner part come out from the housing. But I'm going to do that right now. Okay, the screws are out. Now this is how it comes apart. There. So, with that removed, you can see this there's like a shield of some type before you meet the glass. Oh, actually, with that removed, it exposes a set of new screws that you could take out. But this part, there's nothing interesting in that. I guess you'd remove that, and that's how you get the piece of glass out. Now, here's the other part. I'm going to turn it around. You can see the ends of the lasers, and you can see the motion sensor. And you can see, uh, remember I was saying that little drive shaft thing? That drive shaft thing would turn this gear. You see, and it turns those lens, slowly re aiming the lasers. And it looks like this would just, cl this just pulls out. So I'm going to remove this part, and it actually looks like when you turn it, um, what do you call those, 
uh, periscope, you know, you put it in your front of your eyes and you slowly turn it, and we look through it. Actually, that is what it looks like. I'm looking through it with my eye, and it makes rainbows all over the place. And you can see with the camera flash. That's actually what it looks like when you put your eye through it. Very cool. And it looks like there's even more to it deeper inside the machine. And you see it's in inside the gears. That gear just popped off. See the end of it, how it's square? That's how that little drive shaft earlier worked. Okay. Now th these parts, maybe these come off. Yes, they do. Oh, you see, look at even more of that stuff is inside of there. Another lens. We can see all the rainbows. I'm holding it up to the ceiling. That looks really cool. And that right there must be the actual laser itself. So, yeah, this is the green one, and this is the red one. Does that make a difference when I hold it up to the ceiling? Not in my eyes, it doesn't, but you can see there, that one's silver, the other one's brass. Now there's two more screws I'm going to go ahead and remove that should release the laser. Yep, that removed the laser. There's that little motion sensor in there. This is what the laser itself looks like. Actually, no it doesn't. The laser itself is inside of this. This is just the aluminum housing. I wonder if this pulls out. It does come out. Look carefully. See, if I push it with the screwdriver, the, the edge of it, and not the lens, I don't want to break the lens, it will come out of that housing. Okay, I got this one out. See, it has a little cord. And you see, it, it even has this piece of plastic protecting it that, that I know I could remove. But here's the other part. This one was in there a little better. I couldn't remove the other laser. But because, you see, it has this little cord, I'm thinking I could cut this, strip it, and put like a a battery on there. And maybe I could use this laser without these redirecting mirrors, and maybe that way it would be a more powerful laser. I'm going to go ahead and experiment with that. If I get anything good out of it, I'll show it.